November the 11th, 2023. Police in Bloomingdale, Illinois, have been summoned to a local retailer by the store's loss prevention team. They've observed a young woman wander about the store, concealing a large amount of merchandise inside a plastic bag. Although she did pay for $52 worth of items, she passed a suspicious-looking $100 note as payment and attempted to leave with the rest. She was stopped by loss prevention just inside the store as we joined the officers already on site. Make sure she don't run. Yeah, I was waiting for the kids. I was in the car park. How you doing? I'm doing good. You got you sealing some stuff, huh? Yeah, I was getting kids. I gotcha. All right, let's go in the back real quick. All right. What's your name? Jayla. Jayla? Yes. How old are you? 24. 24? Yeah. You ever been arrested before? One time, but for, I was for fighting. For fighting? Yes. Not sir. for stealing? No, sir. All right, come with us. Okay. Hopefully it'll just be a ticket. Here's the other thing. Was was that a hundred dollar bill real? Yeah, I got that from my mama. Okay. Literally. Well, we'll have to confirm okay. that. Okay, a lot sir. Of, a lot of horrible things coming through. Come yeah, on. well, I don't, I don't That was a lie, by the way. According to the police report, the suspect was arrested just a few months earlier in April of the same year in the nearby village of Lombard, Illinois, also for retail theft, obstruction, and forgery. As in this case, the counterfeit notes she passed on that occasion were also washed $10 notes, reprinted to appear as $100 notes. It's crooked. Oh, yeah, You got this from your mom? Yeah. You got no more of these on you? No. Okay. You All right, well, we're going to check back there. Okay. All right, I might as well read you your rights while we're walking, okay? Yeah. You have the right to remain silent. Mm -hmm. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. For those of us who are not so criminally inclined, a common counterfeiting technique involves collecting low value bills which are of course still printed on the same unique paper as higher value notes, treating them with bleach in order to remove the money's original print, then reprinting duplicated imagery over what remains of the original bill to denote a higher value. This is enough to fool low-tech counterfeit detection techniques, such as the pens cashiers and bank tellers sometimes use, since the fake note is printed on legitimate paper. However, the original note's watermark will always remain and will serve as a dead giveaway that the note is counterfeit. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, want to be appointed to, to represent you before any question, if you wish, you can decide any time to exercise these rights and yeah. not answer any questions or make any statements. Sit so right here. What were you buying? You said for some kids? Yeah. You got yeah, kids? Some girls? Yeah. Both girls? Can I see your purse? Yes. You gotta make sure there's no other fake bills in there. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm not sure if you put anything in the pocket, huh? We're gonna search you, okay? Yes, sir. Is this your 50? Yeah, that's just my back. 10 to 2 is pretty drastic. No valid, not just your pencil, otherwise, clear on the edge. 10-4. You want a secure agent? Yeah, advise prior. It's all crooked. You said you got this from your mom? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is very fake, unfortunately. I got this from my mom. I got you. That's all I had, and I had my link card. Those are the only things I had in my link card. That's it. Is this what she used to pay? Yeah. Or did you guys decline this? No, she used it. Oh, you guys, it passed? Yeah. Okay. Did you? Did you? They did the pen test. Okay, and it passed the pen test? Yeah. Because it's washed. It probably used to be a $10 bill. What do you guys want to do with this? You can take it and do what you need to do with it. Cool with that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Because you case. guys are out the 50 something or whatever. Yeah. I mean, no. Well, really, 100 because it's, it's really changed. Like you but you guys passed it, then that's the problem. Yeah, they'll, they'll cash it out and just put it in the system and lost. Okay. Did you know this was fake? This is very fake. I promise you, I did not know. I wouldn't have came in here. And I have a link card. I was giving my baby a coat, but she don't have a coat. 
That's it. I was giving her clothes. I was giving both of them clothes and books for them, so for them to learn. I didn't take them. She, have you ever been arrested for using fake money or fraud? I got given that before, yes, I have. I got get, given that before by a person, and they caught that person. That's the only reason they dropped my charges, because I didn't know. Do you see where I'm coming from, though? Yes. Oh, it looks bad that you've been arrested for using fake money? You find that she used fake money today? I'm telling you, sir, I'm not lying to you. That's the only thing I have. Literally, <laughs> that's all I have is my name. And you I was didn't look at this and be like, this doesn't feel real. No, I, know. I get money from customers. If you look on my phone, I just got a client today. That's it. I mean, I think it's even smaller. Yeah. It feels smaller. I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you. I already got in trouble for lying before I'm telling you the honest truth. My only reason was coming here. I went straight to get kid clothes. I don't have underwear. I took some underwear for myself, a pair of socks. And I was getting them stuff. I didn't take nothing else. So I'm saying, I, I get it. I understand. I, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to make ends meet. I know. I, mean, but I gotta do my job. So, unfortunately, you know, you tried, you got caught, right? It's part of the game. Any idea where your mom might have got this from? Like I said, I get it. You know what I mean? I don't even celebrate. Sir, I don't even celebrate. I don't even celebrate. I don't even celebrate. I go to work, I don't do nothing else but raise my kids by myself. I know, but it's telling me that you were arrested for forgery. That's, that's the, the case I'm finding. Everything is in my look It's all one case, right? Yes, look, it's all one case. So what happened in that case? I was with my cousin, a female that was also with me. She stole some stuff out of the mall, and she, as soon as we was walking out, the guy said, excuse me. He turned around, just like, how he came across me. He said, those are our things. They called it in as we were walking through the mall, and she was over there, kept stealing from different areas. I was with her holding bags. Mm -hmm. I got convicted because I was holding her stuff. And they said, and I also gave a false identification because I was scared. But what's the forgery part? Because I was sitting there helping her. Did you ever try to pay with like a fake bill or something? Yes, once upon a time, yes. And yeah. I didn't know. And it was well, a, a fifty, and I didn't know so what it was. Yes. And that's the only reason I got off was because I told him the truth and he ran the cameras back to the scene. And I took the money from her and it was a $50 bill. That's it. And it shows on my record and I can show you. Okay. 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 I was at, um, what's that called? What town? Lombard? Yeah, Lombard. Oh, okay. Lombard. Because the Lombard police is the one who came. Georgetown? Georgetown? Yeah. Yeah. It's like 10 areas. So many something else. Mm -hmm. For a future reference, there's some 10 stores in there. Kids, there's what? Churches, there's 10 there's different stores. If you go there. like to the boys' stores in America, yeah. if you go to a Masonic Lodge, Forever 21 on your own all of them will be a bunch of different places. Point, either point in the right direction. Right, Supplemental from each store. But there's a lot of help out there. I'll ask you again. I'm trying to get you to be very honest with me. Did you use a hundred dollar bill or a fifty dollar bill on that previous case? Oh, my previous. I had the oh, fifty and hundred. You just told me a fifty. Yeah, that's. And I asked the one. you like three times if it was a hundred. Huh? Yeah, affirmative. Yeah, 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 just the no, right there, okay. Okay, so. It's $10. It's $10. It's a watch, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Alexander Hamilton. I was going to ask you that, yeah. This guy Hamilton before morning? Yeah. Very, very blurry. There he is. There's my guy. All right. Where is he? Come on. I'm trying to help you help your case right now. You know, you know what's up. You know this. This all looks way too fishy, and it's way too obvious. It's way too simple to your last case. Okay. Oh, oh, you what? I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I did have money. Yeah. I asked him can I borrow some money. Ask who? My boyfriend. Who's your boyfriend? 
He's in the he's in there? Yes. He's in the arrest? No. Was he arrested? No. With you last time? No. I just got with him. I got you. But you know what I mean? It's too consistent with your last one. I'm telling you, sir, I don't have no criminal background with multiple times. I came here, I got kids, my the only thing I got arrested for was retail Did you know theft, this was and I hate that. Did you know Sir, this if I knew that I punched, I wouldn't put myself back in the same predicament. I wouldn't. It's just too similar to your last predicament. Sir, for I'm it. telling you, I would not put myself back in a situation if I'm in a diversion program for my kids. I don't have nobody to get my kids. I'm the only one. I asked him for money. I even well, have Who's with your kids right now? My mother. Okay. And I told her I got your money a coat. She don't even know. I didn't tell her I was coming. So you got this from your boyfriend, not yes. your mom? Yes, I guess I, Did your boyfriend know this was fake? I don't know. I mean, he wouldn't give me no fake money. Listen, if, if you know I'm fighting the case right now. Very fake. Sir, I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you. This is the honest truth. He gave it to me. I said, can I borrow some money? That's it. You don't see nothing else. And I had two singles and one five that I've been carrying around. I mean, like I said, I get it. I, I, you know what I mean? If I was in your predicament, I did the same thing. So that's what I'm, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do, but you got caught. And that's what I'm trying to say. Own up to it if, it, if you did. Sorry. Because you, you gotta know this is fake. I'm Especially when you got arrested for the same shit. I'm telling you, sir. I do not know. If I knew, I would not be in here with I mean, it. it's crooked. Here. Sir. It's washed. It's a wash. It's a wash ten. The same as your last case. Sir, if I, why would I put myself back in the same predicament? I'm telling you, honestly, I truly, I did not know that was fake. I would even be here with it. I would have just got food and just, and honestly, yes, I would have stole my baby clothes if that was the case, if that was. I wouldn't even put myself in shows. I haven't been doing nothing. I'm waiting on to start Amazon on the 19th. All right. Okay. Uh, he's got the copy of it all? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we'll get the copy of the other receipt. What you Uncool yeah. rating. Whatever. You look up the serial number. Uh, it's two weeks consecutive. Oh, there's too many of them. Okay. Alright, this is what's gonna happen. I gotta take you to the police department. I'm gonna book you, I'm gonna process you. I gotta, I got Listen, hold on, calm down. Your mom's gonna have to stay with your kids. I gotta call the state's attorney and see what they say. If they want to charge you with a felony or what. Oh my god. That's how this is gonna go. All this other stuff, we can keep for now in here. And she's got some other stuff. Two bags too. That's hers? Well, whatever's hers, yeah. Okay. I don't know if you guys wanna separate. Have your bag, have your wig, and your shoes, or I mean, your sweatpants. What's in all these? What is all this? Guns. Okay. Where's all this from? Yeah, I gotta see what's in here. I don't. I saw all that stuff. Where's this all from? This is all from Hoppin' From where? Hoppin'. Hoppin'. It's an open strike bomb. Alright. And this one? Okay. I see it all. Just throw it all back in there. Pockets or anything? No. I can't keep my phone on no. Can't keep your phone. You're under arrest right now. Right. So that's your total, 28942. Bloomingdale Police Department. There, you can use the washroom. Call your mom. 
let her know what's going on. I gotta call a state's attorney from there. We'll see if we go home or not. What are we saying? Oh. All right, how about for me? We'll put it over, okay? That way people won't see your hands. That's one, this one? Yeah. All right, come with us. Thanks, guys. I'll call you if I need anything else. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm, baby needs a new pair of shoes, yeah? Put it on this one right here. The suspect was charged with retail theft for the $329.41 worth of merchandise she stole, as well as felony forgery for passing the counterfeit $100 note. She was transported to DuPage County Jail to be held and brought before a judge. Who's your boyfriend? What does he do? He literally makes money, come home, and I ask him to borrow money.